Hello, good evening, Kalish Times viewers. My name is Anjana and I'm live from Rajasthan. I'm wrapping up my coverage in Rajasthan and moving to Maharashtra. You know, Rajasthan is a very, uh, gives a very decisive uh, battleground for Congress because just after their uh, victory in the state assembly elections, they are leaving no stone unturned to ensure that they can impact the vote banks in Rajasthan. So I have with me Ms. Rukshmini Kumari, who is the Rajasthan president of All India Professional Congress. And she's going to tell us how, do, how is the party faring in Rajasthan, especially among the urban class and uh, among the professionals. So I'm bringing in uh, Rukshmani Devi here. Rukshmani, can you say hello to hi, Kalish Time? Hi, everybody. Namaskar. Yeah. Rukshmini, thank you for your time with Kalich Times. Okay, yeah. we are on. So, uh, can you tell us how is uh, Congress faring in Rajasthan? I what think are we, your chances? No, definitely. We are on a mission of 25 and I hope we will really, really do well uh, this year. And everybody, the um, the chief minister, the deputy chief minister, everybody, all the ministers are gearing up, and we are going to win a lot of seats this time. It's going to be, if we talk about uh, Rajasthan parliamentary seats last time before five years, we were on a zero number, but this time I'm very sure we will do up more than 15. And I'm sure Congress Party is really, really working hard. And uh, the Congress President Rahul Gandhi ji was also here yesterday. And I'm sure you were uh, doing the rally and you were doing, uh, you were covering it up. It is fantastic movement. The rural Rajasthan is with Congress, and they want to vote for Congress. And uh, you were asking about urban. Um, yeah, because you know the sense that I got from the ground is. Uh, there's a lot of discontentment uh, against the, ru the ruling party, BJP, in the rural areas, especially with the farmers. Yeah. Uh, but how is, I want to know, how is Congress uh, faring in urban areas and especially among professionals? That's why I'm going to tell you that uh, the urban areas also people have realized that uh, the, uh, the BJP government, the BJP, the Bhajpa Sarkar is trying to fake everything a lot of if you count about their work the educated people have started understanding so you know it was a sweeping uh, majority uh, before five years and i'm sure this time the, the people are more aware that uh, the bjp is only faking it up the, all the yojana is all the things which they are coming up and they are talking in in, in uh, the television and the newspapers it's all fake it's all jumlas so I'm sure the awareness is coming up and the rural and the urban areas both are uh, coming towards Congress and Congress is going to do very well this time. You will come to know about our results and uh, I'm sure Rajasthan is rocking for Congress party. Okay, that's great. You know, as you said, we will wait till May 23rd for the results to come out. But could you tell us what are the main issues that your party is focusing on in your campaign? The most important we are uh, talking about Nyaya Yojana, where we are going to give 72,000 rupees and 20% of very, very poor people, they are going to benefit it, uh, from that. And the entire amount is going to go to women's account, which is a very, very, because uh, the Congress president really wants to empower the women. So we are focusing on uh, empowering 20% of poor people. Uh, second, we are working on the education. The GDP, uh, whatever the GDP would be that time, to around 7%, the GDP we are talking about, will be added up uh, 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 with uh, the Congress party, uh, I mean, in, in, ed in education. And we are also working on infrastructures in Rajasthan. We are, and all over India, I think Rahul Gandhi ji wants that we should, we should have a different budget for uh, the, uh, the farmers, which is a huge, huge thing because a lot of uh, uh, Indian uh, people here 
are farmers and he wants to save uh, the farming lands and farmers which really in the BJP government are really in a distress. So uh, Congress parties, if you go through the manifesto, has come up with people's manifesto. They are not just talking about bigger, bigger uh, things, you know, they are talking about what people really need. People, uh, it's about people's manifesto is, is what uh, they are talking about. So I'm sure uh, the manifesto is reaching people and people are trying to understand, the voters especially, that Congress party doesn't really just speaks what they are, but they deliver. So I'm sure people will definitely vote for Congress party and all over India, if you, uh, I'm sure you're going to other places also and you would feel because last year, if I say everybody was talking about Modi, they wanted uh, to vote for Modi. But this time, I'm very, very sure what I, I go around and uh, Congress party is coming and people have really understood that um, the Congress party really wants to work and deliver. So that's what it is. It looks very great for the Congress party. Okay. But Rukshmini, you know, I have been traveling through the ground, uh, you know, on the ground, speaking to people. The sense that I get is Narendra Modi still continues to be a very popular leader. So is Modi and his image, is that, go, is that still your biggest challenge when you're fighting these elections? It is, but it is fading away. I, we, uh, it's not about me, I'm a Congress party person, but if I look around, uh, they have invested, they have spent a lot of people's money in marketing themselves. I was just reading a newspaper yesterday and it said 400 crores of money were used for WhatsApp groups. So the entire money goes into media and promotion about Mr. Modi. So, you know, the youth, the new voters, the people, the urban people who are always in the house and watching television, they see that. But the real pain, the real uh, people who are suffering are on the ground, the poor people, the laborers. Uh, that's a lot of distress. The demonetization has, has really, really uh, made people suffer. Uh, smaller businesses have been stopped. Uh, the poor people have suffered. I had seen that time how, what kind of distress. The people who were getting married, there were no money. So uh, people have understood that BJP government has really disturbed the economy of uh, India and uh, people are getting aware about it. I'm sure it is uh, a little slow process, but I'm sure we are doing our bit and everybody is understanding that this is a Jumla party and Congress party is a working party. Thank you so much. Uh... Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rukshmini, for being with Khalid Times. Uh, so that was uh, Ms. Rukshmini Kumari from All India Professionals Congress President Rajasthan. So as she said, Congress is hoping that their pro-poor measures will definitely impact the voting in Rajasthan. And this time they are aiming for a clean sweep, which is 25 seats. Uh, so we have to keep in mind that in 2014, BJP had a clean sweep of 25 seats. So any number of seats that Congress win will be a win for Congress and a loss for BJP. We have to wait and watch till the election results are out on May 23rd. Thank you for watching. And this is Anjana Shankar reporting from Rajasthan. Thank you.